What's up everybody and welcome back to the No QB where we will be going against Tennessee today. Let's go ahead and hop right in. They're 2 and 0. We're 2 and 0. Whoever wins this gets top of the division. See who comes out on top. I kept um the new rookie running back. I kept him in the game. I didn't switch him out. And I don't plan on doing it until his um, condition goes down to good rather than great or amazing. As that is just overthrown. I mean, I had someone wide open over there, but I wasn't looking over there. I was looking for the running back. I had tunnel vision. Happens. But I st still don't think I could have hit the guy over there anyways um but lamp uh, he's a good running back and his condition goes down so slow especially with me upgrading his stamina it's going to take even longer before he comes out takes a one game break oops I thought he was continuing a straight route, but he didn't. He still caught it anyways, though. Okay. Well, I got lucky there. I'm not even going to lie. I thought he was running a streak. He was not. As the receiver actually caught one that time. I forgot we had a receiver on this team. And Lamb's going to get the carry here. Go inside. Touchdown. No question. It's going to happen. Let's go ahead and take our points and see what Tennessee can do. Almost missed that. It doinked in, though. Let's see what they do. Can defense get a stop? Yes. Okay. Dana forces a fumble. I think he's one of the DBs. As Lamb got to, got to, has a big run here. 43 yards. Longest rushing play. Nice. I am happy that happened. Alright, he needs a break. He can't even break a tackle. Can't break one tackle. That means he's tired. Which means he needed to sit down for a second. Not really. He doesn't even need to sit down. He just needs a one or two play break. Where he might even still get it. Nope. Darius actually. Don't really see much of him. But he is coming in clutch here a few times. Let's see if defense can get yet another stop here. Incomplete. Yep, they can. All right. And Lamb, let's see what he can do. Another big run. I mean, dude's insane. He's only three-star running back right now. And he's already this good. I'd be scared if I were the other team. And this was just him starting. He's not even peaked yet. This is just the beginning. I mean, just knowing that as the head coach makes me worried for the other team. Because, I mean, I, I was waiting for him to run that route, but he just stopped at the top of the, at the top of it. He didn't carry it on straight like he was supposed to. Let's call it timeout. I'm going to see if I can get into at least field goal range here. Which is why I'm comfortable running the football. And I, that went nowhere. I'll go for it here on fourth down. If he actually runs the route right, this is a great route. Once again, he just stops. Why? 
He, he'd be wide open if he continued across the field, but he just doesn't. It's every single time. Let's see if the defense can stop him. They can't. I mean, I, I, I don't know why he stops at the top of that route. The route is, if you follow my mouse, this is what the route is supposed to be. See, he's got it here. The arrow means he continues going. The little dot means they stop. But he stops there. He's supposed to keep going, come across the field. He's not supposed to stop. But every single time he gets there, he stops. And it just takes away any chance of me getting him the football. Because he doesn't finish his route. I mean, uh, we're still winning, so I can't be too mad, but we'd be winning by another touchdown. We would have a two-touchdown lead here if he would just continue to run his routes. We could have even had an extra touchdown. I don't know. But he just doesn't run his route completely. He stops. See, but watch the tight end here. See, he continues to the sideline like you're supposed to. And if you're over here and the arrow's here, you're supposed to continue across the field. Like this guy, he'll probably do it. But I, I mean, I don't understand. That was a very stupid throw there, but okay. Tight end's going to get a touchdown here. I could have thrown to the running back too. I had three people wide open right in that area. I could have threw the ball right there in the middle. And I guarantee you, one of them was catching it. But the tight end was in the end zone. And oh, ball domain interception. We are dominating Tennessee. I mean, it's not like their star ratings were terrible. They had good ratings. We just play better than we're rated. Our team is rated as, I think, like a two and a half star offense and a two star defense. We play like a five star offense and a five star defense. So if we're playing like this now, imagine what we would be later. And we're coming off of a Retro Bowl loss, if I'm remembering the timeline correctly. So our team's got all the motivation to absolutely crush anyone that gets in their way. Because we've been to the top and lost. We're looking to go back and win it this time. The loss was devastating. It was a touchdown loss. We lost by seven. And we made it down, I think, to the 20. Or something like that. We were stopped with no time at the 20-yard line. Or if we just had one more play, we could have won. Might have been a bit farther back from the 20, but interception there. Ooh, I got too confident throwing the football. Let's see if defense can make up for it. Okay, well, they forced them to fourth down, but they went for it and got it. Didn't have enough time to do anything with it. And I shall praise the owner. I'm taking the coaching credit. As Lamb had a great game, but so did Stewart. Darius had a good uh, game. Dinah had the fumble, who wasn't a linebacker like I thought. He's a D-lineman. Bolden had the interception. I mean, we got 
three defensive players, and they are insanely good. But anyways, uh, that'll do it for this one. If you liked the video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell so you know when and what I upload. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.